Hey everyone, welcome back. As usual, I'm always grateful to see you guys joining live. And today I have yet another relationship topic. We're talking conflict, we're talking passive aggressiveness, we're talking it all, we're going there, you know, all those places that a lot of us don't really like to go to. Um, all for the purposes of getting you to your most empowered place uh, in your own relationship. So I'm very, very excited about this one with you guys. As usual, I can't wait to see who's able to join me. So make sure that you are dropping me a comment. Let me know where in the world you're tuning in from. And I'd love, as usual, to hear from you guys on this journey. I want to hear from you. Have you got any passive aggressive um, relationship dynamics going on in your life? Are there passive aggressive people going on in your life? Are you maybe a little bit passive aggressive? Um, no matter what side of the equation you are seated, uh, today's going to be a really powerful message for you. So if you have people in your life uh, that you want to grow uh, the relationship dynamic with and get to a whole new level of your potential with, uh, then I definitely invite you to share this message with them so they can join in the conversation as well. And uh, yeah, drop me some comments. Let me know where in the world you're tuning in from. So today I am, as usual, you guys know, I'm going to share some story. I'm going to use myself as the human guinea pig of everything that I share with you guys and um, unpack it in the way that I hope really resonates with you and that you can make applicable to your own life. Um, but basically, we're going from this perspective of uh, you know, what, what we don't want and getting to where we, what we do want in terms of our quality of connection. Now, this can be relationship that you have in a family relationship. It can be an intimate partner. It can be friendships. It can be at work. It can be with your boss. Um, it can be with any human being, but I think all of us at some stage of our journey have either been passive aggressive or received passive aggressiveness, um, or most likely both, right? We've all been on both sides of that equation. So today, the message is to stop feeling depleted by passive aggressive people and start feeling accepted and connected within yourself, all right? Everything that we talk about in these messages is all for the purposes of empowering you to take the lead in whatever dynamic shows up in your life that you're not happy with, and this might just be one of them, uh, you can be the leader in it and make a shift and change. Now, the reason why I want to talk to you guys about this today is because um, it's been my priority and main focus um, this week. Uh, we're dealing with probably the most difficult, challenging person that I have in my life just ha happens to be somebody who engages in a lot of passive aggressiveness. And so I've done a massive deep dive in this one for you and want to share this with you. So basically, if you um, feel disconnected, maybe you've been feeling depleted um, from any sort of passive aggressive relationships that you have in your life. Now, remembering that passive aggressiveness is this, they're not being direct about it, right? They're kind of expressing anger in indirect ways. They may be saying yes, when really maybe they mean no. And maybe they're um, being sarcastic with you. Maybe they're giving you a backhanded compliment. Uh, you know, you can kind of tell and feel that they're really meaning something different and kind of attacking you a little bit underneath the surface, but they're not being direct about it, right? And so it's this, what are you trying to say? Like, what's really going on here kind of feeling, right? Or you're just like, why, why are they attacking me? You feel quite attacked. Or they could just be um, pulling away and withdrawing from you, right? That's another passive aggressive kind of behavior. But what you don't want, you don't want to feel depleted and disconnected. What you actually really want to experience is authentic, deep, meaningful connections where you feel totally connected and totally accepted 
as you are, right? That's what we're aiming for. And so what I want to share with you guys today um, is basically what needs to happen in order for you to close that gap between feeling depleted and disconnected with people who operate in passive aggressive ways uh, to feeling actually really authentic and deeply connected and accepted for who you are, right? So that's what we're going to be doing to close the gap on that today. So First step, just to give you the context on this, is that it's all about every single one of these uh, growth videos is all about you taking 100% responsibility for your own empowerment, okay? And the growth and the courage to lead different dynamics instead of being somebody who's always waiting for somebody else to go first or I'll change when they change. Like, no, we don't play the victim. Like, we're taking the responsibility because we want to be free, right? We don't want to give our power away to other people. So, you know, how, however they show up dictates how we feel. No, we're not interested in that. We want to take the lead in our own lives and create real freedom and fulfillment within ourselves, right? By taking that responsibility. So here's how you handle passive aggressive behavior. All right. So number one, this is the key right, to, um, you know, resolving any negative conflict that you have with somebody who engages in a lot of passive aggressive behavior. Um, Or if you're the person who engages in passive aggressive behavior, uh, you want to know this stuff as well. Number one, you've got to understand what drives passive aggressive behavior. Why do people operate with passive aggressive? Why do they be passive aggressive, right? What's driving that? Why are they doing that? And basically, it comes down to this. You can go and do your own research. I highly advise you to. But basically, here's how I look at it. Passive aggressive behavior is engaged in by people who don't have a good quality relationship with conflict. They fear conflict, right? They want to avoid conflict at all costs, right? They don't have a healthy relationship with conflict. They don't have the understanding of, you know, conflict is inevitable and it's here to grow us. It's an opportunity to more deeply understand ourselves, each other, connect on a deeper level, all those beautiful things that conflict um, actually brings to our lives. They don't see it that way. You know, they are doing whatever they can to avoid conflict. Now, that may be because they fear that conflict because they fear that they might be abandoned, right? If they were more truthful or um, if they got angry, they feel, fear that they're going to get rejected, right? So they, they keep it all under traps, right? Um, because they want to do whatever they can to not have conflict. But what happens is it seeps out in this passive aggressive kind of anger, right? Underlying every word that's coming out of their mouth or their behavior in terms of potentially retreating or their sarcasm or whatever it is, right? You also want to understand that people who engage in passive aggressive behavior, and we've all been there, Uh, is that they oftentimes have a judgment around the expression of anger, right? They think that, oh, anger is a bad thing. So if I feel anger, oh, I've got to push that back down, right? That's not good. I'm not a good person if I have anger, right? And so what happens is they um, end up, you know, um, actually disconnecting or, um, uh, yeah, suppressing that anger, And again, that's the same as their fear around conflict. They end up trying to disown certain parts of themselves, right? Certain human characteristics such as anger. um, And it's like holding a beach ball underwater, right? Like you can only do that for so long. And it's kind of like a bit of steam gets left let off, right? With passive aggressiveness. That's where the sarcasm comes in or, you know, kind of the bitey kind of underlying meanings that are coming out rather than just speak the truth, right? Um, And so there are a couple of the things. And you also want to recognize, and this is really key for our ability to not just play a victim because somebody was passive aggressive with us, right? Again, it's all about empowerment. We have to recognize that um, basically people aren't passive aggressive people, although I've put it in the title today. People aren't passive aggressive people. They're doing passive aggressiveness, right? They're acting it out right? It's not who they are. It's a strategy. And everybody, the reason behind anything that anybody does, 
there is an intention. There's a positive intention behind it all, albeit most likely if it's not uh, a resourceful kind of not getting them a good result, it's oftentimes an unconscious, unquestioned uh, intention, right? So for instance, the person who engages in passive aggressiveness that's at the demise of their intimate connections or their any relationship connections um, is basically the positive intention, the unconscious intention is to avoid conflict, say, right? Because um, then I can remain in relationship with this person, right? So there might be a positive intention there, right? To uh, maintain the connection, but basically what it's actually costing them their relationship and their connection, right? So what we want to do is just recognize that people engage in a behavior such as passive aggressiveness as a strategy to get something, you know, more positive, but it might not be working out for them, right? And it's usually more driven by their fears, fear of abandonment, fear of rejection, and the list could go on, right? Depending on the individual. All right. So that first step, you've got to understand all Conflict is created due to a misunderstanding of one another and feeling really misunderstood by another. Okay, so understanding is always the foundation. Understand yourself, right? Why, when do you engage in passive aggressive behavior? Why do you do it? And when you can find it within yourself, it gives you compassion for when other people show up in it because you know it's not who they are. You know it's because they're driven by a fear, right? And they don't have a better strategy, right? That's why they're playing that old card that's not really working for them, all right? So that's the first key is in understanding what drives passive aggressive behavior. Once you get that down pat, you also want to have the mindset of, I'm going to use this dynamic with this person who's passive aggressive with me. I'm going to use it for my own personal opportunity for self-growth and self-awareness. Okay, that you've got to have a growth mindset coming into this dynamic. Instead of running away from the dynamic, which definitely done many times in my own life and still have to pick myself up on that, instead of running away or avoiding the person who's passive aggressive, I want to be somebody who actually uses that as an opportunity for growth, right? I want to go, all right, like what triggers me about this so much, right? Is it something specifically? Is it something that they say? Is it something that they do? Is it how they say it? Um, is it what's being left unsaid? Like identify specifically what triggers you in that passive aggressive dynamic, right? And then you want to ask yourself, well, what meanings am I attributing to those triggers, right? The fact that, um, you know, what they say, what am I making that mean? Like that they're judging me, right? Or that they um, don't like me or they're not accepting me or whatever it might be, right? What is the meaning that you're creating? Because your whole experience in life is born from the meanings that you create, all right? So this is how we empower ourselves. We grow ourselves. We use the uncomfortable dynamic of somebody being passive aggressive with us. We use it for an opportunity for growth, right? Then we want to look at um, how specifically does their passive aggressive behavior impact us, right? Like, does it make us doubt ourselves? Does it make us judge ourselves? Does it, does it um, trigger an emotional response within us? Do we get really sad? Do we get really angry, right? Do we get passive aggressive ourselves? How do we handle that? How do we respond to that, right? And maybe does it trigger any unhealthy behaviors in you? right? Like, does it make you just want to switch off and uh, eat a whole packet of Tim Tams? Does it make you, uh, I don't know if anybody across the globe outside of Australia might not get that because, uh, but does it make you want to eat a whole packet of biscuits or a whole tub of ice cream? Does it throw you off your game with your work? Can you not focus now because you're caught up in like all the tension of this passive aggressive dynamic? Like how does it trigger you? How does it impact you, right? We want to have that clarity. And then the third thing is, we need to decide, we have to make a personal decision within that we are choosing to become the kind of person who remains unaffected by another's behavior, no matter how they choose to show up, no matter how they feel, how they think, what they say or what they do, we're not going to let us let that personally affect us, 
right? We're not going to let us impact our how we feel, impact how we think, impact what we say or what we do in a negative way, right? In an unconscious, unemotionally, emotionally intelligent way. We have to decide, you know what? I don't want to be the kind of person who runs away or avoids challenging people. I want to be the quality of person who could be in a room with anybody and not let that affect me. And how do we do that? We've got to do the work on our own triggers, right? Whatever triggers us from uh, that person being passive aggressive with us in this example, uh, we, we know that that's our strategy to move forward, right? If we feel judged by them, how am I not solid within my own path, right? Specifically, how are they judging me? How do I feel judged by them? Is it my appearance? Is it my intelligence? Is it the career path that I'm on? Is it my financial situation? Is it my health? Whatever it is, right? Is it my choice in friendships, partner, or all the rest of it, right? However that you're perceiving that or feeling judged by that person, it's ultimately showing you and shining light on where you're not fully empowered in your own acceptance of yourself, right? And your own connection and your own honoring of your own choices. And that's highly valuable to work out where, where those parts of you are, where you're still judging within yourself, right? And so um, when we decide to become the quality of person who remains unaffected by whatever anybody else says or does, um, or however they feel or think or judge or whatever, um, or retreat in their passive aggressiveness or whatever, when we decide to be the person who's unaffected by any of that, it's, we get to that place by doing the work on the things that are currently triggering us. You don't just snap your fingers and then you're just like the most unshakable human being on the planet, right? Like every, people are going to come into your life. They're going to trigger you for different reasons. And basically you want to lean into the triggers. You want to go, ah, oh, that only triggers me because they're pointing at, they're prodding me right where I judge myself, and that's okay. It doesn't feel good, but I'm the quality of person who wants to grow, who wants to empower myself, who wants to be the kind of person who remains unaffected by however anybody else shows up in this world. And so thank you, dark guru of mine who's being passive aggressive, right? You're giving me an opportunity to grow in the ways that I most will be empowered by, right? And then finally, once you're really owning that, right? Like once you are really understanding what's driving their behavior, what drives that behavior within myself, you know, and then you're um, taking on the growth mindset. I'm going to use any challenging dynamic to grow and empower myself. You're making the commitment to become the kind of person who remains unshakable, no matter who's in front of you. Then the final step is to incorporate really healthy boundaries, all right? And this can come in at any stage of the game, right? And particularly, you might need to focus on having healthy boundaries. The more sensitive you are, uh, the more triggered you are, the more work you have to do um, on being accepted and connected within yourself, you might have to put up some bigger boundaries to begin with, right? But at the end of the day, um, you know, although we can become the kind of people who remain unaffected by however anybody else shows up, doesn't mean we want to spend our time with them, right? Like you want to be really highly selective with the quality of people that you spend your, your hours with, right? And so basically, this is really key. You're going to be um, evolving your healthy boundaries right? And, and you need to know and be clear on what's healthy for you, right? What does that look like? You know, don't subject yourself to unhealthy situations, but don't also run away from opportunities to learn more about what triggers you so that you can grow and empower yourself in the most uh, in most beneficial ways for you as an individual, right? And then remember that when you get emotionally reactive, what that really points to is your areas for self-empowerment. And what we're trying to get to is emotional responsiveness, not reactiveness, but responsiveness. How do I make a situation better rather than worse based on my input to it? And when you're responsive in your emotions, 
right? You're level headed. That shows you where you have empowerment. You have acceptance and connectedness uh, in those different parts of you. All right. So you can just use that as a bit of a gauge. If you get really emotionally reactive, pointing to the areas of self-empowerment that are required. And if you're finding yourself really emotionally empowered, right? Like emotionally responsive, then you can, you know, pat yourself on the back a little bit, you know, to know that you have a level of self-empowerment uh, within yourself because that part that they might be trying to hit on, um, you're accepting and you're very connected to. So you can just kind of see it for what it is, right? And not get caught up in the, you know, the personal attack game that can oftentimes happen. And um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this, uh, you know, basically the reason why I'm really passionate about this is because the most challenging person in my life right now is um, highly passive aggressive. And um, I was noticing myself be, yeah, like, like really affected by it. And I was like, whoa, you know, like I can't avoid this dynamic. This is a great opportunity for me because it feels really uncomfortable. And so this is uh, basically how I go through this. I want to understand what drives their behavior, shift gears into their perspective, try it on for size. When have I engaged in that same behavior? Why did I do it? I can connect to the fear that is underneath it. I can have compassion, right? And then it's about me identifying what are the ways in which this is triggering me. How do I feel judged by them? And like, that's really making me emotionally reactive rather than responsive. Okay, got some work to do here because I want to be the kind of person who remains unshakable no matter how anybody else shows up. And I am basically coming down to uh, really treating yourself with self-honoring and self-respect and self-love, you know, like you would uh, your child, right? Who you just want the best for. You wouldn't subject them to uh, unhealthy relationship dynamics. You'd go, you know what? That's not happening, right? Like I'm gonna put a boundary up there. And from an empowered place, not a fearful, reactive, uh, trying to avoid place, right? Remember, there's a difference. Feel into that. So that is my message for you. And I hope that it's a value to you guys. And I hope that you um, will really look at the relationship dynamics in your life. The ones in which there's some passive aggressiveness, stuff's not getting said. And instead of feeling depleted um, by those passive aggressive dynamics, Start feeling accepted and connected within yourself by following these steps that I outlined for you guys today. So I definitely want to check in with you guys, see who's been able to join me. Have you got any questions or comments or words of wisdom that you'd love to contribute to the conversation? And if this has been of value, please do share it. Um, and let's connect with more amazing human beings and get growing together. I love it. So let me check in. I've got Wayne and Raya, awesome, and Mark and Barry and Elliot and Naha, Neha. And uh, hello to you, Elliot. Good to have you back. And Arun's here and Alicia. Hey, girl. Lovely to have you here. And uh, Jay Castillo. Hola. Havia. Havia. From San Diego. Always good to have you, my friend. And Brian's back. And Smiley. And Cephas. Hi, Vanessa. Lovely. Watching from Zambia. Awesome to have you. I love knowing where you guys are spread across the globe. Um, hope this is a value to you. And Aoni's here and Swaf, uh, Swapnil. I think I got your name right. Good to have you here. And Devin is here as well. And Cully. Um, I, whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. Just, just, that's a nothing comment. We'll just get rid of that one. Love it. And um, to, uh, Tapasvi is here again and Clyde and Brett and Paul and Ilias and Da and Angelica and Apana and Stephen and Raul and Arena and Bill. Much love to you. And uh, oh, this is a big one. Uh, Ab Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman? Good to have you. And uh, Karishma and uh, and Somnath is here as well. And Christina and Johnny and uh, Javier. Uh, thank you for your kind words. And Monty's here as well. And Dawn's in the house. And Charles and uh, Devendra and Dorothy and um, A.N. 
and Dorothy is watching from the Philippines. So cool to have you. Um, I love that. I love the multiculturalness in these dynamics and I really hope, you know, passive aggressive behavior is such a, it's part of our humanness, right? Like we've all engaged in it and we've all received it. And so, you know, I want us to have this really high standard on what we set for ourselves and what we set for our connect, all of our relationships and for humanity as a whole. Like we have so much potential to love and be loved. We have so much potential to go really deep, you know, to get off the surface and really create real meaning and fulfillment in every dynamic that we have. So just be the kind of person who does not settle for less than that. Don't settle for surface level connections. Don't settle for, you know, like meaningless dynamics. Don't settle for unhealthy dynamics. But don't play the victim. Don't play the blame game. Take it upon yourself to be the leader in all of the dynamics that aren't working for you, right? Step up. Everybody else is always waiting for somebody else to go first, right? So don't wait around. Be the person who gets proactive with dynamics that are bringing you down, that are depleting you, and move towards exactly what you want, right? That acceptedness, that connectiveness, that depth, um, you know, that's what's fulfilling. And with that being said, oh, I've got a couple of last little comments here. Dawn, great topic. Yes, triggers, um, then you self-love, meditate, and choose peace. I love it, beautiful soul. And Alona's here as well, and Valencia and Daniel. Good to see each and every one of you guys. I hope all of you who are just tuning in that you catch a recording, get a ton of value from today's message um, because I'm just about to sign off. But I so appreciate each and every one of you guys for showing up live today, for contributing to the conversation. I really hope this has been of value to you. Like I said, if it has been, please do share it um, with anybody that you feel could um, benefit from this message as well. And let's up level the quality of our connections. And as usual, my reminder to each and every one of you guys is to go out there and live authentically, love deeply and contribute meaningfully and purposefully. All right. So much love for each and every one of you guys. And I will see you very soon. Much love.